Elon Musk, a tech mogul, has now revealed some important information regarding his boring company. What exactly seems to be the big news? And during what time did the well-known figure in technology break it? Join me today as we discuss Elon's big headline for his boring company in the video that I have prepared for you. You may be excused if you do not know much about the boring company. Elon Musk's boring company is relatively unknown to the general public, in contrast to Tesla and SpaceX. The boring company run by Elon Musk is generating headlines as the leading contender for the next big smart city technology and promises to completely transform the appearance of urban transportation by hiding it entirely underneath. Musk's proposed network of interconnected tube networks would allow travel across cities, regions, and continents. On skating platforms or by its electric-powered transport network, Hyperloop may seem like something out of a science fiction movie at first. Having said that, the boring company has really established business relationships with real cities. In May 2018, Musk made public an arrangement with LA Metro on a tunnel system. In order to provide the beginning of digging the 2.7-mile test route under the west side of Los Angeles, the Los Angeles City Commission has already decided to omit it from the environmental impact study. This was done in order to speed up the process. Welcome, and you are watching Technology Zone, where the home of technology resides. Join us as we discover the features and other aspects of The Boring Company in this video. Let's start from the beginning and explain what The Boring Company is all about so that everyone is on the same page. Elon Musk is the founder of the American company known as The Boring Company, which provides infrastructure and tunnel building services. Even though the business has admitted that the Hawthorne Test Tunnel is capable of supporting Hyperloop R&D, and that other tunnels are already being constructed, its current and prospective initiatives are geared for loop-oriented municipal transit systems so that they may ultimately assist in the transition to hyperloop-based transportation on extended intercity routes. For this reason, they are focusing on city transport systems. The business has already completed the construction of one passageway in Los Angeles County for the purpose of testing hyperloop and loop and it is now working on the construction of another tunnel in Las Vegas for a loop. There are still two tunnels that are seeking permission at this time. One would connect Dodger Stadium to the remaining portion of Los Angeles utilizing a loop, while the other would extend Washington, D.C. to Baltimore using both loop and hyperloop technology. Both systems are currently in the planning stages. The question is, what caused this to occur? Musk's irritation with the gridlock in Los Angeles and his awareness of the limitations of the current two-dimensional transportation system were the first sparks that ignited the idea for the concept. The Boring Company was previously established as a subsidiary of SpaceX, but in 2018, it broke away from SpaceX and established itself as a separate company. In return for the use of SpaceX's resources throughout the early stages of the company's development, SpaceX was granted a 6% ownership take in the company. As of December 2018, Musk held 90% of the stock, and 2019's foreign investments will have an effect on how the ownership is distributed. Let's take a quick look at the three distinct boring technologies that the organization has used to this point. The first example is a standard boring machine for tunnels called a GATO, which was manufactured by the Canadian company Lovad and used for research. The following machine, called LineStorm, is a conventional boring machine that has been extensively modified. In February of 2019, Elon Musk tweeted that the LineStorm platform would be operational within the next month to two months. The last one is called ProofRock. By the beginning of May 2018, development had begun on a machine that adhered to the boring company's entire plan. By the end of 2018, the business had completed the design and positioned the orders for the parts with extended lead times. In the year 2019, work on constructing the machine began underway. When compared to the present state of the art, it was projected that it would facilitate a tunneling speed improvement that was 15 times greater in 2017. Elon Musk has a number of companies, including one called The Boring Company, which, despite its name, is anything but dull. Ever since its founding in 2016, the company has been tolling away at developing a tunnel network that contributes to alleviating a big city's severe traffic difficulties. It makes it possible to move people and goods quickly and efficiently from one place to another. After successfully raising an additional $675 million in cash, 
The wealthiest person on the planet is now working to fill open positions at the boring company. Just after the Series C investment round, the total worth of the company was determined to be $5.67 billion. The venture capital firm Sequoia Capital and VY Capital were the ones that spearheaded the financial investment. Founders fund 8VC, Kraft Ventures, Valor Equity Partners, and DFJ Growth were among the other participants. The management of the boring company has said that the revenues from its most recent funding round would be utilized to significantly increase the number of employees working in engineering, management, and manufacturing. The company uses a gigantic piece of equipment known as Proof Rock in order to construct the new system and dig the tunnels underneath it. Currently, the digger can only produce around one mile of track per week, but Musk and his colleagues promise that the next edition of the Proof Rock will be capable of excavating 7 kilometers of the tunnel every day. When Musk first stated his intentions to construct tunnels for public transportation, he had lofty goals of creating a loop system that would be capable of accommodating 16 electric passenger vehicles. The Austin-based company has not yet made any alterations to the public transportation system. Despite this, it has managed to construct two working tunnels under the Las Vegas Convention Center as well as a test tunnel of 1.1 miles in length in Hawthorne, California. In addition, Approval has been given to the Boring Company to construct the first-ever public transportation system in Las Vegas. This system will consist of 29 miles of tube and 51 passenger destinations. In the end, the system would have the capacity to transport 57,000 people each hour at its speed of miles per hour. Up until this point, the Boring Company has just been able to send Tesla EVs through the tunnels at a maximum speed of around 40 miles per hour on test tracks located under the Las Vegas Convention Center. The Boring Company has also committed to creating subterranean public transportation systems in the cities of Los Angeles, Baltimore, and Chicago. Despite this, those initiatives were scrapped before construction could even begin, and the organization's website no longer makes reference to any activity in the locations in question. TBC asserts that its ultimate objective is to eliminate soul-destroying traffic by the huge underground networks it controls. A network that will take passengers by high-speed tunnels will be expanded thanks to the increased resources which will be utilized for this purpose. The company behind the invention claims that it will one day be capable of transporting people at speeds of up to 240 kilometers per hour. In test drives with media in a Tesla Model X electric vehicle, it reached a peak speed of around 50 miles per hour at the most. So far, it has not been successful in achieving such speeds. Additionally, a subterranean tunnel network linking the Las Vegas Strip, McCarran International Airport, and Allegiant Stadium is something that the corporation is currently considering as part of its long-term goals and objectives. There is a possibility that the stadium may be ready for the beginning of the NFL football season in 2022. It is envisaged that the Boring Company will contribute funds for the development of the stadium. Nevertheless, it is presumed that it will engage in contractual arrangements in order to guarantee that the venture would earn a profit. The Boring Company has been in touch with many surrounding authorities and has had very preliminary conversations with some of them. In regards to these particular projects that they are engaged in, a few of them are working on San Ricardo, a conventional rail link between Duradon Station as well as San Jose International Airport is estimated to be worth around $800 million. In February 2019, the governor of San Jose stated that he had spoken with the Boring Company about a potential link between Duradon Station and San Jose International Airport as an alternative to the traditional rail connection. San Jose has made two public information requests on a variety of topics, one for the route that would take them from the airport to the Duradon Station and the other for the path that would take them down the Stevens Creek Corridor, a major thoroughfare that travels roughly 13 kilometers to the west and connects downtown Cupertino to Cupertino. In response to a question posed by a member of parliament from Australia regarding the construction of a passageway through the Blue Mountains to access Sydney to the west, Elon Musk stated in August 2019 that he planned to establish the China branch of the Boring Company just at the end of the month while he was on vacation. In January of 2019, Musk proposed pricing for the tunnel at either $24 million or $750 million, 
in addition to $50 million for each station. Musk said in January 2019 that the director of CERN had questioned him about creating the passageways for the 62 circumference prospective circular collider and suggested that the Boring Company may be able to assist CERN in saving a considerable amount of money. Musk asserts that the company's goal is to raise the tunneling pace to the extent where the construction of a tunnel network can be accomplished at a cost-effective level. Boring operations of the future will use a simultaneous performance of boring and tunnel reinforcement in addition to reducing the size of the tunnel, utilizing soil resources for the building of the tunnel, and making more technological breakthroughs to reduce expenses. According to Steve Jurvetson, a board member for both Tesla Inc. and SpaceX, tunnels explicitly designed for electric vehicles are less costly than traditional tunnels due to their smaller size and increased level of complexity. The insight, which I feel to be so crucial, is that if you just envision electric cars utilizing your tunnels, you won't need to manage the airflow for any carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, or other pollutants and emissions. This frees you up from having to deal with any of those issues. Scrubbers and a few other sophisticated technologies may be able to fit everything onto a smaller tube which would result in significant reduction in expenses. Nevertheless, this would completely alter how tunnels are used. Musk has stated that the innovation would be used for the construction of underground infrastructure as part of his goal to build a self-sufficient manned colony on Mars. The year 2018 saw the beginning of the company's many marketing initiatives, during which it offered a variety of promotional items to its clientele. Examples have included a variety of things including headgear, fire extinguishers, and flamethrowers. The initial product the firm gave its customers was a selection of 50,000 flamethrowers. After the first 50,000 flamethrowers were purchased in January of 2018, they began selling an additional 20,000 of them for pre-sale. With the possible exception of the state of Maryland, the usage of flamethrower created by the Boring Company, which is a blowtorch designed to look like a gun, is legal in every state in the United States. In response to concerns raised about the nature of the transaction, California legislator Miguel Santiago attempted to introduce legislation that would have prohibited the sale of flamethrowers inside the state. Within a few short days, all 20,000 flamethrowers were purchased by their new owners. Notwithstanding this, customs officers said that they would not stop the importation of any items bearing the word flamethrower. Elon Musk said in a tweet that he was going to change their name to not a flamethrower. After some time, he updated the description of the flamethrower on the Boring Company website to add the statement that it is the safest flamethrower in the world. According to what he stated, the Boring Company fire extinguisher, which can be defined as being pricey but goes with a lovely sticker, would also be offered separately. Musk announced in March 2018 via Twitter that the company would soon start selling life-size Lego-like configurable concrete that was created by digging rock and could be used to make sculptures and housing developments. According to the promotional materials, each brick will cost 10 cents and will be able to withstand the earthquakes that occur in California. Musk said in a tweet that they'd be manufactured in two separate kits each of which will include structures that are replicas of historic Egyptian landmarks like pyramids, the Temple of Horus, the Sphinx, and other buildings. The Boring Company made the announcement in April 2022 that they had successfully raised the necessary funds for the Series C financing round, which resulted in the company being valued at $5.67 billion at the time. The business plans to use the most current funding to grow the loop, a system that will transport passengers by quick tubes. If you found this video informative and exciting, consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit that notification bell to be constantly updated with our upcoming videos. You can visit our channel for more content of the likes. And again, this is the Technology Zone, and see you guys in the next one.